members of the national executive, uh, councillors here in present, uh, members of the 40th state, the media, uh, members of the diplomatic community, it is with great humility uh, that I stand before you. It is gr with great humility that we, the councillors, that met from 9 o'clock this morning are presenting ourselves uh, to the people of Zimbabwe, to our African brothers and sisters, and to the international community, making a point that we, members of this council, the genuine Democrats in our party, the people who believe that renewal, not just of the MDC, but of the entire democratic movement is called for in this country. We, those who met today, who genuinely believe that the country is in a serious national crisis, a crisis of leadership, a crisis of legitimacy, a social crisis, a moral crisis, and an economic crisis, which is calling out for an answer. We have met here to try and address both our internal issues and then external issues are surrounding the political crisis, the economic crisis, the social crisis, and the moral crisis. And I want to say that we are very humbled. And I think that what has happened today to us is the ushering in of a new stage, a new advancement in the struggle, the post-liberation struggle for the democratization of Zimbabwe. We strongly believe as Democrats that the first phase of the post-liberation post-liberation democratization of Zimbabwe, which we formed and were part of since 1999 to 2013, just like the liberation <coughs> movement itself has gone sterile, has become exhausted, has become arrested in massive contradictions. So the post-liberation movement needs renewal. And this, what we are doing here, represents the first step of the renewal, the re-energization, and the rebuilding, and the reconstruction of the democratization struggle in Zimbabwe. So we have sat for hours. We discussed in extenso the problem arresting our party, the movement for democratic change. <clears throat> and we came to the following resolutions on the part, that the MDC, as we know it, has abandoned its original founding values and principles of social democracy, of justice, of equality, of liberty, of transparency, of nonviolence, of constitutionalism, and of humble, obedient, and servant leadership. In our discussions and resolutions, we came to the firm conclusion that the party we call the MDC today is not recognizable from the party that was formed by the working people of Zimbabwe on the 11th of September, 1999. It is not recognizable from the party that won the 2008 election. We have come to the conclusion that the party has been hijacked by a dangerous fascist clique bent on destroying the same and totally working against the, the working people of Zimbabwe. We have come to the conclusion that the following issues distinguish us, define us, 
the following issues create a jura war between us and our former friends and colleagues in the old MDC as we knew it. Number one, the use of violence. Number two, the abuse of power in the patronage system in the party. C, the use of all forms of intimidation, jurists, and matrix directed against those that have dared to speak their voice for democracy and the renewal in the party. We have seen, ladies and gentlemen, the assault that took place on Onande Bomangoma on the 15th of February, 2014. We have seen the dissolution of the entire Matabeleland North Province, led by Chairman Chavang. We have seen the dissolution of the entire province of Mad South, uh, whose chairman you just saw addressing you. We have seen the unlawful suspensions of uh, comrades in Matabeleland North, so in Manikaland in particular, the chairman Julius Magarangoma and the secretary Honorable Pishai. We have seen massive pages, unconstitutional and unlawful pages uh, in our party in Harare, in Mashonaland West, in Mashonaland East, in Chitungwiza, and in the Youth Council. We draw a line with our former colleagues in the use of parallel structures, including the use of vigilantes, kitchen cabinets, and other informal means of transacting the business of the Democratic uh, Party. We draw a line with our colleagues in promoting the culture of malice, rumors, and gossip. Some of us have lived permanently with the take other visa president. Uh, baseless uh, baseless uh, uh, things which are not promoted uh, in our constitution. <clears throat> we draw a line firmly against the abuse of the constitution. One of the main reasons why the MDC was formed by the working people of Zimbabwe in 1999 was to run away from the culture of zanu -PF, of abusing the constitution, of changing the constitution 17 times each time they lost a case in the Constitutional Court. We have seen the Constitution being abused in the MDC. The suspension, the original suspension on, of Honorable Mango on the 7th of March 2014 was done without recourse to Article 12 of our Constitution, which makes it clear that a member of the Standing Committee can only be uh, suspended if a two-thirds majority of members of the National Council uh, uh, vote. The pages that I've been talking about are all unconstitutional. The suspensions that I've been talking about are all unconstitutional. So we, the Democrats gathered here, are making a clear point that we can't run away from a ZANU-PF known for breaching the Constitution and then allow the same misdemeanor, the same opinion, the same opinion, uh, commissions and omissions to happen in the party that we call ours. So we are putting a stop and saying a no to the abuse of the constitution and the rule of law uh, in the MGC as we knew it uh, originally. <laughs> One of the, re the reasons why the MGC was formed originally was to promote free speech, internal democracy, and debate in the party. We believed in the Maoist principle of allowing 100 flowers to bloom and 100 debates <coughs> to fall. As we have seen in recent occasions in the, in the party, Honorable Mangoma wrote a letter, a private letter, to the president of the party on the 23rd of January, uh, 2014. That letter is unleashed chaos in the party. Even people who have committed treason and murder will not be treated in the manner that Honorable Mangoma and his colleagues have been treated. <laughs> so if we ran away from ZANU-PF, 
because it does not promote the values of democracy, of unity in diversion. We cannot tolerate the same in the party that we formed, in the party that we have sacrificed all of us. We lost in this struggle the likes of Isaac Matong, the likes of Len Mojong, the likes of Tondera Indira, the likes of Patrick Namabai. I can assure you that these comrades are turning in their graves because the MDC of now is not the MDC that they left when God took them. Mm. So we are drawing a line against that. We will not allow the same dictatorship of ZANU-PF to be to surround us. <clears throat> in short, uh, comrades and friends, and you will see it in our document, the MDC as we know it now has been ZANU-fied. And we who are here are running away or us putting a stop from the zanification of our beloved movement. We are saying no to the incorporation of trades that are in ZANU-PF, which we have run away from. And in this regard, we restate our commitment <laughs> to a depersonalized struggle. One of the challenges of our current part is that it has been personalized and privatized. Even the name of the party is someone's surname. Even the party symbol is someone's uh, handsome face. We cannot accept it. <laughs> we cannot accept it. <laughs> so we have come here to make our commitment and our restatement to the original values of the party, the values of social uh, democracy, I would like to acknowledge the sector of Bulawaya province, uh, Honorable Rejimoyo. So we want to reaffirm the original values of the party, the values of social democracy, the values of, of transparency, the values of uh, humble and obedient leadership, which are so well defined in Article 3 and at for four of the Constitution of Zimbabwe. We have also come to the resolution that the dear leader, Comrade Morgan Changirai, can no longer be considered as a Democrat or a comrade in this struggle, is clearly unsuitable and has disqualified himself as a fit and proper patriot with the legitimacy, credibility, ability, decency, or honesty of leading and executing <laughs> the democratic struggle. <laughs> we, the Democrats gathered here, no longer recognize him or his associates in the standing committee in any capacity. We no longer recognize him and them in any capacity. Yeah. We are therefore exercising our constitutional right of freedom of dissociation. Yeah. And we will now pursue our struggle with genuine, credible fellow Zimbabweans until real victory over ZANU-PF and this dictatorship is achieved and attained in this country. I want, to, I want to make this very clear. The Constitution, one of the fundamental rights in the Constitution is freedom of association. The MDC is a voluntary association. So we, the Democrats gathered here, are exercising our democratic right to freedom of dissociation with the persons I have mentioned. <coughs> This is very different from the MDC. We remain members of the MDC, but we feel that these people have betrayed the struggle, have brought the party into disrepute, do not have the capacity, the desire, and the love of leading and executing the democratic struggle. <laughs> the next question that will then immediately arise is what you are creating a leadership vacuum. And our answer, our resolution is this. We believe that the party must 
immediately be placed under the control and the curatorship of the party of elders and veterans in the Guardians Council. We must run the party and prepare for Congress. <laughs> where, members, where members should be free to elect new leadership, where there should be no violence, no gossip, no illegal or corrupt electoral practices. We as Democrats gathered here, we undertake to build our movement to deal with the issue of structures, to restore to our movement the same legitimacy, dignity, and respect it has commanded on the African continent in the last 15 years, which in the last few months has been debased and devalued. So we will rebuild our party from the current ashes and dust to the proud organization it has been before.